All right, let's do this. This Paula Chavez. Hi guys, I am super excited to be here with you. What an amazing opportunity. What a great year we've had. I am so proud of us. I'm proud of you. Hey, take that arm. Give yourself a pat on the back. Like seriously, take your arm, take your arm. Give yourself a pat on the back. We had an incredible, incredible 2020. And 2021 is off to a great start. Things are happening. So many things are happening. So many things are coming. And what a great opportunity to be here, to be part of this event. Tomorrow, our teams are going to get so much training. They're going to get plugged in. They're going to get so inspiring, so inspired and motivated. It's going to be an amazing opportunity for growth. And with that, obviously, there are some challenges for us as leaders. So I have to say I'm proud of us for being here. I'm proud of you for being here, for wanting to grow, for being committed to your leadership growth and your commitment to your team. So let's go. I have an important topic for you. I feel like this is an important topic because, um, and I'll tell you what it is. Um, I feel like when we when we rise to these next levels, right? As we're, as we're climbing to the rank ladders, as our teams continue to grow, as things continue to, you know, explode the way they are, challenges come, right? Leadership is not easy, but it is something that we can learn. And it's something that I always say, leadership is not about the rank that you are. Leadership is about your mindset. And it's also about how you show up. So I get this question a lot and I've seen it a lot. So I, I just thought this would be a great topic to talk about today amongst us. So to me, an important topic um, that I've seen floating around is the topic of how do I motivate my team? I don't know, like this may happen to you, maybe not, but don't you feel like sometimes you, 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 you start blaming yourself for the lack of activity? the lack of showing up from some teammates, it happens. It happens to all of us. And you know what? I am honestly, uh, I would say this is one of the biggest questions that we ask ourselves. Am I doing enough for my team? Am I showing up? Am I a good leader for my team? Am I doing the right things? And I'll tell you something, and I hope this gives you peace in mind. The best thing you can do to lead your team, the best thing you can do to motivate your team is show up and do the things that you wish your team was doing. Mm-hmm, like, what? Are you serious? Like, really? Yeah, that's it. The best thing you can do to motiv motivate your team is show up in the way that you want them to show up. So I have five activities for you today, five DMO activities. DMO stands for Daily Method of Operation, or you can call it, the five activities to do every day. I don't know, you can give them any, any name you want and you can teach this to your team. But most importantly, before you go on to teach this to your team, I want you to implement it. I wanna recommend you implement it. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I'm here to share with you the five things that I do consistently and that I know are the things that people that are being successful and the people, I'm pretty sure you are here because you did these things. But as we grow, as our teams grow, as we start coaching other, other teammates, right? Like we're helping our downline. We get carried away in, in or wrapped up in all these activities as a leader and it can get overwhelming and we start putting our own personal business and our activities and the things that got you to that got that got us to where we are uh, we stop doing them and it almost feels like sometimes we feel like our business is not growing our personal business because we're pouring too much into our teams. There's five things that if you do them every day, keep yourself on track. Maybe maybe track them in a calendar or maybe track them in like, like make a little sheet for yourself that you can also, this is important for your team to know. So here I go, the five activities. Number one, and, and this is important and I'll tell you why. Because you know that saying of put on your mask, your oxygen mask first, before trying to put it on on somebody else, this is it. These five activities are your oxygen mask. 
you need to take care of your business first so that you can show up in a way that your t you don't even have to do much. There's no motivational speech required. I'm telling you, it's in the way that you show up that your team will show up. Now, some will, some won't, and you have to be okay with that. Not everyone on your team has the same drive that you have. Not everyone on your team has the same vision that you have. Not everyone on the team, not everyone on your team has the same level of belief that you have. So give them some grace, give yourself some grace and take, take note of these five activities. Number one, here goes. It's so simple. You're going to be like, Paula, really? <laughs> wear the clothes every single day. <laughs> every single day, you got to wear the clothes. You have to be like we say, the product of the product. You have to wear the clothes. You can't go walking around with other things that are not Saya. Not that it's a bad thing, so don't get me wrong. You can, obviously you can wear, if you wanna wear jeans, wear jeans. If you wanna wear, like, right, that's okay. But I'm saying, there's, a, there's something that happens, something magical that happens when you are wearing the clothes. And I'll tell you what, where are these underwear, the socks, the activewear that you're using for working out, the outfits that you're putting on to work from home or, or you know, run errands or go to work, all these things. Try to add Zaya somehow into the mix so that you can show it off. And, and I'll tell you why this is so important. It raises belief. Because if you are wearing the clothes consistently over a period of time, you know how much we love these clothes, but it's because we've, wor we've worn them consistently for the past few months or years, right? Depending on how long you've been around or how long, how long you've had Zaya. But the more we wear them, the more confident we feel about them, the more, you know, the more creative you get, we get about them. And it is important that you do this because you are the, the driver of this car you are the, the the pilot of this plane so whatever you do your team will replicate so you have to influence this behavior the more you do it the more your team is looking up to you i guarantee you your team is watching your behavior they're watching what you're wearing they're watching if you're sharing it and that's point number two it's about sharing zaya daily and that means posting on stories going live posting your outfits, you went to work out, did you wear the outfit? You can, you can post about how you went to your workout and your workout was amazing without even saying, oh, look, I'm wearing Saya, woohoo. They see it, we have such a visual product. It's like, it's, it's, on, the, it's on the outside. <laughs> so absolutely. And one cool thing about this, about sharing Zaya and making it an important part of our team culture is that we put on the clothes we don't need so when we talk about shakes or pills or i don't know creams or products for digestion or i mean not to bash any product but just to give you a visual you you almost have to wait for a little bit to see what results that create so you can show results so you can show a transformation something that inspires we just need to put on the clothes like legit i can put a picture of my outfit right now and I can get somebody that says, is that the, are those the clothes you sell? It's simple. All we have to do is influence, is be that example and, and create excitement around the clothes and sharing it. Okay, so um, let me see. I just want to make sure I don't forget anything. Uh, so as, as marketers, as direct sellers, our goal, our number one mission is to get people to try the product or to, to book a party, to get excited about the products, right? Think of like, um, we're, we're the commercial, that, that's it. We are our own commercial. So sometimes our, our, our excitement takes for granted that our team is equal, equally excited as we are about the products. They may not be. So you can influence that, you can drive that enthusiasm, okay? And then number three, share the opportunity daily. Yes share the opportunity daily. And by that, I mean, um, you are a position where you have created results. You have belief of what's possible. Now think about this. Many on your team haven't created that level of success or they haven't, they still haven't 
created that belief in their mind and their heart and their soul is not yet there even though maybe they love you and they love being in your team they love the community but if you ask them to talk about the opportunity they're going to be intimidated right but if you're doing it and you're sharing your story they can take your story and the stories of other leaders of other people that are creating results if they're sharing they're they're sharing and they're in sharing, they're developing that belief. And then others are also believing in them. And now they'll take that opportunity. So um, one important thing about this is teach your team how to talk about the opportunity without without being braggy, without, you know, like all that we all, we, we still have to follow the policies and procedures and the guidelines that we have been told to follow. But we can share what, the, what the business is doing for us, what the products are doing for us, how we felt. Like I remember when I first launched, and this is something that I teach the team is, I just remember how I felt the day I signed up. I had not created results yet. I didn't know in, in you know, 100% what was gonna happen, but I was excited. And the first time that I shared about it, I just shared that I was excited about something new and that created interest, right? So teach your team like create awareness like look team i know that you don't have belief in this yet but borrow belief from me and just share take people on the journey teach your team to take people on their journey sharing what the opportunity is doing for them obviously the close two that was point number two and then number four personal development super important don't tell me that you don't need personal development I do not care how far you've gone in Zaya. I will tell you something. Personal development is key, most importantly at this level, because it'll give you vision. It'll give you just like a dose of, of like energy for your soul because you will have hard days, guaranteed. There will be hard days. People sometimes are challenging. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, right? You know that, say yes, okay. Um, but, and some days you just need something to talk about or some days you just need something to bring to, to, to the table to share with your team, right? You need a topic for a live video or you need a topic for a call, for a call or you don't know how to handle uh, maybe a situation. There's a lot of personal development out there. And by personal development, I mean, read 10 pages of a book, listen to 10 pages of an audio book or a podcast episode. There's plenty of podcasts about our industry, about being an entrepreneur, about marketing, whatever it is, a little bit, a little bit every day, share it. And I'll tell you why it's important. It's important for you. It's important for your team to see that you're doing, like we said, leading by example. If you do it, they'll do it. And make it an important part of your team culture. Make it like constantly recommend books or constantly share podcast episodes. Something that speaks to you may speak to somebody on your team or point them to where the information is. So maybe you say, hey guys, I love listening to the to this, um, to this person, this trainer, they will find a topic that serves them that may not be necessarily for you. And also, you don't need to teach everything. Point people to tools, to resources. You don't need to be the only one teaching everything, right? We put so much pressure on ourselves. Focus on your own, on your own business first. Put on your mask first. And then the fifth one, the fifth one, I think it's super important. I put a lot of emphasis on this. I learned something from Eric Worre and the words um, focus on promoting, not announcing. So when there's something going on, an event, um, an incentive that the company is launching, um, maybe it's um, a Zoom call that you have, a Discover Zaya or a group, an activity, whatever it is that you're doing for your team, promote. And by promoting, I mean everywhere text people send emails make sure that everybody knows the information don't just throw it out there but promote and things that you can do as part of this activity just in case if you ever have questions you feel free to reach out for ideas i can always you know share with you what i do but um i lead the team when it comes to activities i try to include everybody so i try to do incentives or team challenges where it's minimal 
what is required. So for example, it'll be something like everyone that sells a jacket, everyone that sells a pair of leggings, everyone that sells three leggings, put your name in this Google form. You're all going to be entered in a drawing or multiple drawings. So always try to include as many people as you can. The, if you want to have a successful business that pays you, that creates legacy for you, that create, that makes an impact, focus on a lot of people doing a little. Don't just focus on the big producers in the top producers. They're doing their thing. You, um, part of your culture is to focus on the people that don't have those big goals, but they just, they're just happy to be here. They're just happy to be around you. They're just happy to be around their sponsor, their upline. Um, they're just happy to wear these clothes. So give them small opportunities to win and you will see tremendous growth in your team. You will see people developing more confidence and you will see people wanting to stay because here's the truth. When people lose the enthusiasm and the excitement, they just check out. You start seeing them not going into calls, not participating in anything, and eventually they cancel. So your goal is to have a lot of people who stay close to the campfire to do the things that, that I taught, you know, that I shared today. And I don't know, maybe you have other ideas, but for leaders, I do think the best way to motivate your team is to do what you wish they were doing. I hope this helps you guys. Let's, let's make this an amazing event. I wish you all the best this month, 2021. I cannot wait to see you guys in person. Bye.